welcome back to our Wednesday Wonders. Everyone, this is the last October story, a Halloween story. That's right. Halloween is tomorrow. We want to wish you all a safe and happy Halloween, and I hope you enjoy the Halloween story, Girl in the Mirror. Story Coming recommended up, for 18 years or older. It had been over a decade since I had been to the mansion. And all of the nights to return, it would have to be Halloween. A night where ghosts seemed to come alive. The childhood memories I thought I had long forgotten. Looking up at the old mansion, it seemed to be smiling at me. The two windows at the top and the eight poles mocking the entrance. Just then a chill ran down my spine. An October storm was rolling in behind the old mansion. Streaks of lightning, I could hear the rolling thunder. It was setting the stage for what was to come. Unsure of myself, but the only heir to the rundown mansion, it was mine now, along with the terrifying childhood memories. Was I crazy to return this very night? The bolt of lightning electrifying the sky. The thunder announcing, come out, come out. As I shakily unlocked the door, it let out a shuddering groan to announce my presence. To what I thought. Standing in the foyer, the right and left wings exactly alike, both menacing and beckoning. The hairs on my neck stood up, frozen for a moment, stunned. I reached for the lights, both halls illuminating in unison. I could see the old staircase. It twisted in a circular motion, as if to mock me. Frightened, I closed my eyes quickly and reopened them, and all was as it should be. How I hated that staircase. My childhood memories now coming front and center. What was it about this mansion? that scared me as a child was now scaring me as an adult. Every fiber of my being was screaming out, leave this place, leave tonight. But with nowhere else to go, I must tie up my father's affairs, unload this old rickety mansion, go back to the city and never look back. I began laughing at myself for what scared me just then, the lightning cracked so close to the mansion, and the thunder bellowed in unison. The rain beating against the roof, it sounded like a thousand thundering hooves. I didn't let that scare me. I made my way to the kitchen to fix a cup of hot chocolate. Then I would retire for the night. Only one night, I told myself. One night. I made my way up the scary staircase to my old bedroom. Standing there, I quickly flipped the light on. Everything in my old bedroom was just as I left it. The wooden bed and the mirror. The mirror that I hated as a child brought my fear out front and center and my newfound strength crumbling all around me. The storm outside flashed its menacing lights and the thunder rolled out its warning. The mirror. Once again, every fiber in my being cried out, leave this place. Once again, shaking off my childhood fears, I set the alarm for 6 a.m., determined to get through this scary night and see a realtor in the morning, let them unload this beastly mansion, and as for me, never deal with it again. I sipped the rest of my hot chocolate and laid down, pulling the covers close to my chin, begging sleep to take me, and soon daylight would come. At 3 a.m., a sound in the night woke me. Help me, Avery. Help me. Dad? I sat up, trembling. I reached for the bedside light. Nothing. Nothing but darkness all around me. I sat frozen in fear, my eyes quickly going to the mirror. The mirror that scared me as a child was now coming alive. I could see them the shadow people in the mirror, reaching, beckoning me to come. The bedroom had a cold, misty fog all around. Too afraid to put my foot on the floor, too afraid to just run, 
frozen. I sat there watching them. Then it dawned on me. They cannot leave the mirror. Slowly, I put my foot on the floor, and with cat-like movements, I walked nearer to the mirror. Curious, yet afraid. Unsure of the shadow people. Suddenly, the mirror cracked. Hands reached out, grabbing me. I let out a scream. Seeing my bedroom through the foggy glass, I realized I'm now the girl in the mirror. All right, everyone, I hope you enjoyed that story, a Halloween story, Girl in the Mirror, and your entry is shoot us an email and tell us what you think of that story, and that's our treat to you this Wednesday Wonders Halloween story, and that will be your entry, an email telling us what you thought of that story. All right, stay tuned for this week's prize package. Now your prize package for this Halloween story. Wednesday Wonders, we are putting in a black knapsack purse. You can carry it like a regular purse or around the arms, however you want to carry it. An awesome bag. It is black in color, of course, for Halloween night. And I just love this bag, guys. It is awesome. And with that black knapsack bag, we have a couple of black and white bows. And that's part of this week's Wednesday Wonders. Along with a witch notebook and pen. There will be a pen with it, guys. Not to worry. I just forgot the pen. And for the kiddos... A couple of Halloween grows, Frankenstein and bats. The kiddos will love that. And that is your Wednesday Wonders for Halloween package and our Halloween story, Girl in the Mirror. Until next week, guys, we'll see you then.